There's an E60 M5 over here. Cool. I'm gonna walk down the steps, and it looks like they moved all the good ones down here. There's that M6. It's an M3, another M3, an M6, an M3, a 650. Uh, two more M6s, I think this is. Yes, it is. So two more of those M5. That was probably the same one that was here before. Um, this looks like a 7 something and another 7 something. 750. Cool. Alright, check this out. I'm walking around out here looking at some cars, of course, and this is a 530 with a blue pinstripe on it in silver with a manual. I've driven this car before. I looked at this thing for Kenan. We looked at it together uh, a couple months ago. That's a Dave Volta. That's kind of cool. Well, this is light change number four. I'm hoping I make this. Traffic in Kent is just screwed. Uh, it's 2.09 p.m. and it's 37 degrees. It's just glorious out here. Um, CPS install at Dave Volta this morning took about three hours, um, but it's done. And everything seems to be going well, crossing my fingers so far. Uh, it was sporadic before, so we'll keep driving it and see what goes on. The light is green. Now I'm going to leave the camera on. Watch this. So it takes the guy that long to go straight through. Then we got a guy waiting to make a left up here. That guy's turning. This guy, he was turning. Now we got to wait for the Saturn and the 3 Series. Okay. Okay, that wasn't actually too bad. This is the road they fixed down. I was telling you about that. They just patched it. Some places up here they would just patch one square foot at a time. Did a horrible job. You could probably hear the noise, or if the music were off, you could hear the noise of it just rattling everything to pieces. There's the fuzz. Kind of come down here a little bit. There's the fuzz. The Kent fuzz. And uh, we have another stoplight. So we'll see how many lights I have to sit through to get through on this one. You can see how far back this turn lane is to Janik Drive. Uh, this is Satterfield here, business admins right there. Um, yeah, the turning lane is supposed to end there, but it goes all the way back there because this is packed. And if we can zoom in, take a look, Summit Street here, we're going east, uh, as far as you can see, all the way down to the power plant. Yeah, I mean, you'd think they just dumped the population of San Diego in here or something. It's ridiculous. And there's an X5M over there. Nice. Car patrol, it's in those. There's an X5 and a, a uh, an A5 with jersey plates that are always on it. And the an E83. There it is. Good evening. It's about 11:59. Is it 12 yet? No, 11:58. Um, I went downtown and I saw a really nice 5 Series. Then I noticed it was Kenneth's. So we uh, tracked each other down downtown. Then he came back. We watched. Uh, Episode of Breaking Bad, Season 4, Episode 5. It's getting really good. You guys were right. Anyways, car-related day. Uh, M5, Dave Walter, seems to be running well so far. We'll keep an eye on that over the next few days. Had the two intake camshaft position sensors replaced. That is done. And look at this one. This one went into the Honda dealer today for transmission oil. It's code A13. Transmission oil, tire rotation, and engine oil and filter change. Uh, they had the car quite a while. They did all that stuff. And then uh, a hand wash and wax and they did a really nice job I'm quite surprised it feels oh about the same this one doesn't have as much dirt and dust on it as this one does it hasn't been uh, hasn't been yeah look at that hadn't been uh, wiped off in several days now but they did a great job wheels and tires they put the tire shine on I don't think we're gonna see it actually probably this side would be better for lighting they did the tire shine on here Wheels are really nice. Did a great job cleaning this up. Um, only thing I'm noticing, and, th and this is going to require a lot more work, is from this body line down, you know, this is where the salt stays, it feels a little rough. And if you get up, you can see all the little rust p particles, little rust spots in the clear coat. So it's actually pretty straight. <laughs> I'm analyzing this now like I would a 5 Series of the dealership or something. Um, but they, they did really well, as I've said like six times now. Feels really nice. Great shine. I'm noticing this car has very, very, very little swirl scratching. Um, about the same as the M5, and it's seven years newer, but it hasn't been as well maintained probably throughout its lifetime. 
Uh, but anyways, it's it's rough down here, so I'm thinking if if somebody were willing to put the time in, uh, a clay bar treatment would do this car a lot of good. However, due to the, the kind of use and the owner of this car, I don't really think that's in the cards. But yeah, I mean, that's how this one was, and then the clay bar treatment and all my meticulous hours, and it's smooth as can be down here. It's just smooth down here in the rocker panels as the hood or the roof. Uh, but that's what salt does to cars. It makes it, you hear that? That's what that one sounds like up here. Barely anything, and that's pretty smooth too. So, anyways, anyways, long clip. Sorry, uh, that's what they did with that. I'm gonna head in, uh, try to get to bed earlier tonight. A couple classes tomorrow, and then we're off for the weekend. So, thanks for watching today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on 8:43 or 8:44 or something like that. Good night.